Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about today is VRRP, and VRRP stands for Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. And what this allows you to do is use two, possibly even more, edge routers in a redundant configuration. And so if one router goes down, the other router automatically takes over. Now, we are doing a basic configuration. This is the first video, and we're I'm going to do more videos on this. We're going to dig into this and explore all the options and what they mean. But this video is basic, and it will get you up and going in a redundant configuration. So let's talk about what I have going on here. So I've got two edge router lights, and you can use any edge routers. I suggest using... Uh, the same uh, model edge router if you're going to do this and also make sure that you're on the same version of the firmware. Both of these routers are on version 1.10.8 and they are both edge router lights. So uh, I do suggest making sure same firmware version, same router. Don't know that it wouldn't work the other way, but in case you run into problems, it's probably going to be easier to troubleshoot if, if everything is the same. And so we've got two routers, and then we need a switch for the LAN, LAN ports to go into. So we've just got a basic switch um, that both of the WANs go into, and then clients connect to this. So the way this is set up is I've got one router, and I just ran the basic um, configuration wizard, the WAN 2 plus LAN 2 uh, wizard. And one router is set up as 192.168.255.1. The other is set up as 192.168.255.2. Uh, both of their DHC, uh, WANs are DHCP. Now, if you're running a full run redundant configuration, you're probably going to go to different ISPs on the WAN, so that part of the configuration may uh, be different. Or if you're running these internally, who knows what you've got going on. But uh, right now, both of these are going to the same ISP, and... Uh, I am going to do, I do have some gear where we're going to do a video where we have a, an actual different um, ISP. So, uh, but right now my WANs are DHCP. You could also do, um, you know, full VRP internal, external if you wanted. Um, but this is going to get us up and going, like I said, a basic configuration. Uh, we will create the virtual interface, the 192.168.255.3, and then we'll change our DHCP pools to hand, to hand this out. So let's hop over here to the routers real quick. So here is 192.168.255.1. You can see I just ran the basic wizard, got it up and going. If we look at the firewall rules, it's the standard firewall rules that come with that. Um, and I did run the WAN plus 2 LAN 2, and I'm only using... Uh, Ethernet 1 on each of these routers. Now, my DHCP pools, this is how I have, I have DHCP set up on each of these. So here's 192.168.255.2. And it also um, has DHCP configured. So what we've got to do here real quick. So uh, hop back over here. So the dot one router this is actually going to be our primary router. So it's going to get a higher um, it's going to get a higher priority number when we do the configuration. And the higher configuration or the higher number in the priority means that this is the main router. Like I said, this is basic configuration. Get us up and going. Next videos, we're going to get into some of these other options. So what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to change the router on each of these to dot three, each of these DHCP pools. Uh, that way, if one of these routers fails, um, we're handing out the same virtual IP for uh, the gateway. And then, you know, we'll repair the router and, you know, bring our VRRP group back up and life will be good. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually configure the VRP group. So we could do this on the command line, but I'm going to show you in the config tree how to do this real quick. So we're going to go to config tree. We're going to go to interfaces. We're going to go to Ethernet. Now we're using ETH1 internally, so we're going to drill down into ETH1. We're going to go down to VRP, VRP group. We're going to add a group, and we're just going to make this group 10. We're going to click update list. Now we're going to expand uh, group 10 and the only two things that we need to fill out to get this started and this is 
just a basic configuration, how we're going to get this started. We got to do a sync group. So we're going to do 10. Then we're going to add our virtual address. We're going to hit uh, preview and apply. We're going to wait till it's green. Everything looks good. So now we're going to hop over here to router number two. We're going to go to interfaces, Ethernet, Ethernet 1, VRRP, VRRP group. We're going to add that same group. The groups have to match. We're going to hit update list. We're going to expand number 10. Now, this priority, um, oh, that's the other thing we need to set getting ahead of myself here. Uh, so the priority on this one needs to be 200, so it's a higher priority. Then we're going to hop. We'll make sure this is good. That's good. We're going to hop over here. We're going to do priority 100 because it's not the main or master router. It is going to be sync group 10 and 192.168.255.3. And we will apply all of that. And guess what? Now, if your interfaces are in the same switch like ours are now, we should be able to um, ping 192.168.255.3 because my PC is plugged into the same switch that these Ethernet uh, connections are plugged into. So um, what we are going to do here real quick is I'm going to renew I'm just going to refresh uh, my IP information so that I pick up dot three as that gateway because I probably had one of these other routers as my gateway so as soon as this is done we will uh, make sure we can get out to the internet all right so uh, we grabbed uh, 192.168.255.101 you can see our gateway is 255.3. Now, some people may say, well, you've got two DHCP servers on the network. Yes, you can have two DHCP networks, uh, servers on the network as long as you're, you, know, you don't want overlapping um, ranges that you're handing out and you want everything to be going you know, in the same direction. So what we're going to do now is we're going to ping 1.1.1.1. So we're getting out. That's perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ping. Um, yeah, we'll just keep the ping going to 1.1. And what I am going to do is I am going to um, unplug uh, the, I'm going to unplug the router, the, uh, the main, the main router. So uh, I'm going to unplug its LAN port. And so what we uh, will see when I do that is we will see a, uh, a slight drop. When I, unplug, when I unplug it, we'll see a slight drop. We may get a few timeouts, but then what's going to happen is the other router here is very quickly going to uh, start taking these requests and we are going to get right back out uh, to the internet. The uh, last time that I did this, it took about about four, four pings here and then everything uh, started working properly. So that took five. So we're back, we're back in business. So just a slight uh, hiccup in the network and the other router was able to take over. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll plug this back in. And uh, those uh, routers will begin talking and start, uh, you know, making sure that they can see each other again. All right. So that is a very, very basic VRP configuration. So once again, let's go back over the setup. So we've got two routers. Our main router, which was the 255.1. We made it priority 200 because in VRRP, a higher number for priority means that that is uh, a, a more uh, important or the master router. And we have to have the same group. So we had group, this is wrong. We had group 10 uh, for both of those. <laughs> See what I did there it was priority 100 group. And so I must have just done that. Anyway, uh, so priority 100 means it is not the master router. 
then our virtual IP is 192.168.255.3. You can see we were able to get out to the internet and life is good. So that's it. This is our first uh, our first video on VRRP. Very basic, but it'll get you up and going. So get over to your router. Uh, get a couple routers, a couple edge router X's. Get you a little switch. Start playing around with this. We are going to do more videos and more advanced things because VRRP does have quite a few configuration options. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please uh, share. Please comment. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, best practice uh, deployment of networks, whether it's wired or wireless, uh, Wi-Fi or uh, fixed point-to-point -point wireless. If you need... Um, you know, voice over IP consulting, information, security, and assurance, storage, all those good things we can help you out. Go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form. Somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. That's our promise to you. While you're over there, you can sign up for the newsletter. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, that link is down there, and I appreciate all of those folks. If you want to buy any of the gear you see here on the channel, we do have that Amazon link down below. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.